Hello YouTube, my name is Nero and today we have some Madden NFL 15 and what we're going to be doing in this video is giving you guys some quick tips as to how to become a better quarterback and a better passer here than Madden NFL 15. I'm a Browns fan, right? I've been playing Madden since 2004 and unlike a lot of people, I don't just, you know, have a favorite team in real life and then play as a different team when I'm playing Madden, right? I'm not like that. So I've always played as the Browns ever since 2004 and I've never had a good quarterback to play with. I've had Jeff Garcia and Trent Dilfer and Charlie Fry and Derek Anderson and Brady Quinn and Colt McCoy and Brandon Wheaton and Good God, the Browns have never had a good quarterback on Madden. Like, I'm lucky if my quarterback has an 80 overall or higher when I'm playing in Madden, right? And because of that, over the years, I've developed an offense that I can actually work around having a horrible quarterback. And because of that, I've actually been able to develop this offense that's very ball control. It's a very balanced offense that works out very well. And I've actually had a lot of success with it playing in all Madden mode. And the point of this video is to share this offense with you guys, how, give you guys uh, some tips as to how I play quarterback with a pretty subpar quarterback. And hopefully, it can teach you guys to be a little bit better when you're trying to throw the ball here in Madden NFL 15. So here he is, Johnny Manziel, Johnny Football, the savior here in Cleveland. He may not be starting in real life, that's okay, because Brian Hoyer's out there, and uh, right now I think they've actually won four of their past five games at the time of this video going up, which is pretty freaking nice. So in real life, Brian Hoyer's tearing it up, Johnny Manziel's sitting on the bench, but when I do play Madden, I want to play Johnny Manziel because it's just really, really fun having a fun quarterback to play with in Madden because like I showed you guys at the beginning of the video, I've had no fun quarterbacks to play with ever since I started playing Madden. It's just always always been like that. So the point of this video, the point of the offense I'm going to be teaching you guys is always going to be very short passes. The point of the entirety of the game, for me anyway, is running the ball and having a bunch of short passes. Because for me, with all my terrible quarterbacks I've played with over the years, the idea of throwing the ball, you know, 15 yards or more down the field, most of the time is going to result in an interception. It's going to do something bad. You know, the Browns are well known for never really having any really good receivers besides maybe Braylon Edwards a few years back and of course Josh Gordon is really good. But aside from that, they've never really had a bunch of good receivers who've never had good quarterbacks and because of that it's always been a real struggle for me to be an efficient passer here with the Madden. What I've actually done to alleviate this is ball control. What I've really done about this is I've tried to throw a bunch of short passes. The routes we're focusing on are going to be slant routes and curl routes and of course the drag routes the in routes, not the out routes because out routes require uh, arm strength on the end of the quarterback so I never really incorporated them into my offense as well as screen passes to the running backs and the wide receivers. The point of this offense is to throw the ball very short you know tons of slant routes tons of in routes tons of curl routes drag routes things like that and just control the tempo of the game you see a lot of college offenses doing this nowadays where basically they take uh, short passes as a substitute for running you can do that pretty well here in Madden of course I like to actually run the ball as well but throwing short passes works out very well a lot of times slant routes are really just kind of seem to be unbeatable and you can just throw these slant routes and get four five six seven yard uh, catches every single time and you can just slowly move your way down the field with all of these short routes but we do have have some tips for you guys to actually complete some longer passes here within Madden NFL 15. So right now, we're actually going to be showing you guys this play, which is going to be a play-action pass, and I'm actually going to be showing it to you twice with two completely different results, and hopefully I can teach you something from this play both times. The first time we're going to run this play, I'm going to show you how to dump off to a secondary target. Now, I'm sure there's a lot of quarterbacks out there that play Madden that they can scan the entire field, they find the open receiver, and they really have no trouble with it. But what works for me and what will work for a lot of you is try and find two primary receivers. Now, in this particular play, my primary receivers are going to be my Y receiver, who is a receiver over there in the slot that's running the post route as well as my tight end who's running the in route initially i want to try and throw that post route if your opponent is running a cover two you can throw that post route and it just completely exploits the cover two and you get a big chunk of yardage down the field and actually helps you out quite a bit but as you guys can see by the defense they're not running cover two they only have one safety back there so chances are it's either cover one or cover three so chances are i'm gonna have to dump it down to my tight end on the in route but i'm gonna still try regardless to get the ball uh to my slot receiver so we're gonna snap the ball here and as you guys can see they're dropping back so why is not going to be open so we're just going to wait for the route to develop and we're just going to dump it off to our tight end we got a decent gain not a super great gain but you know six yards if you can get six yards every single pass you're doing something right it can actually help you out what we're going to be doing with this next play is actually running the exact same play but we get a, a message from the heavens john madden himself made the opponents here run a cover two defense and that slot route running the post can completely demolish a cover two defense so cover two you know the safety's kind of spread out it makes the field wide open in the middle and you can just 
can chuck the ball to your receiver. I happen to be so much faster in the safety as he misses the tackle, and I run all the way down for the touchdown. If your opponent is running a cover two defense, you can exploit it. You will do well against it. Try and get a post route. You have to look at your opponent's defense and really try to exploit it in one way or another. This next tip I'm going to be giving you guys is a great way to actually be able to exploit your opponent's defense and get you a big chunk of yardage on those occasions when you actually really need it. So this next play here, I want to try and get the ball deep, right? I want to show it for the purpose of this video. Of course, I'm just facing the Redskins in a play now game just to kind of show you guys the stuff that I've learned over the years. This is something I've picked up and it's something that works in every single Madden game, but does not work all the time. So use it sparingly. So right now, as you can see, they're basically all sitting back. I want to try and throw the ball deep down the field, but it's really hard to when you have all those defenders playing so far back. There's a lot of space between the corners and the wide receivers. So we're actually going to try and fool the CPU a little bit. What we're going to be doing is calling some fake audibles as well as some real audibles until the opponent actually changes their defense now keep in mind this does not work all of the time it's not something you're going to see work all the time but it's something that can work as you guys can see right here they actually did change their defense eventually until now we have these guys up here in bump and run coverage and one safety deep now i'm looking at the play and i see the safety. there's one safety deep and he's got three receivers over there on the right side to focus on so chances are that receiver over there on the left is actually going to be in one-on-one -on -one man coverage and because of that that, I'm going to try throwing it deep to him. Now, how you want to do this is you want to see if your receiver is going to be able to break the bump and run. If your receiver can get past the corner and he can actually get a few steps on the corner, then you just bomb the ball down the field. At that point, it becomes a foot race. If you have a fast enough receiver, it can work. And fortunately for me, it actually does work. I snap the ball. You see he has a few steps on the corner. I bomb the ball down the field. It's one-on-one -on -one coverage, and he just completely toasts that corner and does very well. It's Travis Benjamin, man. He may not be the best receiver in the world, but damn, if he's not very, very fast and in one-on-one -on -one coverage like that on a fly pattern that he actually beat the bump and run coverage it just worked out very well so keep that in mind if you're trying to find a different defense or it looks like your opponent has a defense that's really about to shut down your play just call a couple audibles call some fake audibles do that and then maybe the opponent will actually change their defense around to try and compensate but does it work all the time keep in mind they will not always change around their defensive scheme the rest of the video here is just going to be me running the offense I like to run. For the sake of the video, I didn't actually go ahead and do any running plays whatsoever. I played the first half here against the Redskins, and I did pretty well. You'll be seeing the stats here at the end of the video of what I did with Johnny Manziel for this first half. Once again, playing on all Madden mode, and you can see it works out rather well. Even without the addition of a running game, you basically can even use short passes as a passing game, and it can work out pretty well for you. Uh, slant routes, crossing routes, it all comes down to just finding the timing and trying to be able to read the defense a little bit. But take these tips with you. Take these tips with you. Take the tips of always try and run slant routes because slant routes themselves are just freaking amazing and they're very, very hard to beat. The only time a slant route can ever actually be beat by the defense is when they're running like three zone coverages with the linebackers and they're having man coverage from the corner. At that point, uh, it can sometimes not work out as well for you or sometimes when maybe like a defensive end will like drop back in coverage you weren't expecting it. He'll jump up and intercept the pass or something like that. But for the most part, slant routes will always work. Curl routes can work, but only if it's a uh, single coverage one-on-one and you have a receiver that you can lob the ball up to. I usually try and either lob it up to them or maybe throw it to their inside or outside shoulder depending on where the corner is. It all comes down to experience and learning the offense. I gotta say, it's one of the easiest offenses in the game to learn and it's the offense that I've really kind of run ever since I started playing Madden because very quickly, you know, once I kind of you know got used to Madden, I got used to how it played and I wanted to start playing in all Madden mode, I quickly realized that what I was doing prior when I was playing on the normal modes or I was playing on all pro mode, just bombing the ball down the field and you having fun with that, I quickly learned that was not going to work in all Madden mode, and I really had to kind of adjust myself around that, and since then, I've been running this offense, you know, curl routes, slant routes, crossing routes, in routes, uh, screen passes, and of course, running the ball quite a bit, which you don't see any of that in this video, because the point of the video is how to become better at passing, but uh, running the ball quite a bit, and just really running a slow-paced ball control offense, and that's how I've always played Madden, and it's always seemed to work out for me, even playing with a team like the Browns, which is just uh, not a very, very good team overall. Well, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Hopefully you guys walked away with some kind of tips, some kind of information here that can help you out when you're playing Madden and you're trying to become a better passer. Hopefully I did good here. Uh, there's a lot of things I really want to do, but I want to make it a quick tip video, but I didn't want to make it like a freaking 30 minute quick tip video of how to read every single defense or how to try and predict defenses or when to throw stuff. Like there's so many things I could have gone in depth with, but a lot of it I think is honestly common sense that you guys will be able to figure out simply just by playing the game. But a few of the tips like uh, that that's post route going against the cover two defense or that calling a bunch 
bunch of audibles to try and confuse the defense into changing up their defensive scheme and at that point uh, exposing a weakness in their defense. Stuff like that, I really hope that actually was helpful and informative to you guys. That's stuff that I've just picked up over the years. I figured I would share here in this video. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. And if you did, please be sure to leave a rating. And of course, let me know in the comments what is your guys' favorite NFL team. And do you play with them here on Madden? Because if you're a Browns fan, I feel your pain. I felt your pain over all these years. The one fun year we had was back when uh, Derek Anderson was good for half a season. And we had Jamal Lewis and we had Braylon Edwards and we had Kellen Winslow Jr. And it was great. That's what that was. It was just sheer greatness. It was so much fun. The Browns haven't had a season like that, but there's a lot of other fans out there, like Raiders fans, and Jaguars fans, and Rams fans, and basically every sub every sub tier team in the league. Do you guys actually play as your favorite team? Let me know about that. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. And if you did, please be sure to leave a rating. Hope you guys all have a wonderful day.